What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Gaming Careers YouTube channel. My name is Pete and today we're going to be talking about chatbots for your Twitch or YouTube chat and specifically we're going to be talking about one of the most popular bots which is called Nightbot. Now you might be wondering what a chatbot is. You might have seen it but not really know exactly what it does. A chatbot is a piece of software that sits in your Twitch or your YouTube stream chat and it helps moderate and respond to certain commands so that you're less distracted by answering simple questions or moderating the chat from spam and things like that and you can concentrate on playing the game instead and answering real questions from your fans. Some of the features that Nightbot allows you to customise are things like spam filtering so if you have certain users always spamming certain things you can allow Nightbot to moderate that and time out or ban certain chatters that are abusing the system. You can have Nightbot respond to some custom commands uh, if your viewers always want to know, you know, uh, how long you've been streaming for or what your current rating is or something like what the current song playing is, you can allow Nightbot to respond to certain commands like those. You can set Nightbot to send promotional messages every certain number of minutes. So if you want to be, um, you know, sharing your Instagram, your YouTube, your Twitter profiles, you can set uh, Nightbot to automatically post these things every so often. Now these are just a handful of the different features that Nightbot allows you to customise and in this video we're going to be helping you set it up for your Twitch or YouTube stream as well as customising some of these features that we've been talking about in this intro. So let's dive in. So to get started the first thing that you're going to need to do is to head to the Nightbot website uh, that is nightbot.tv and you should be greeted with a screen similar to this and we're going to click sign up. Now like many of the streaming services that we use uh, you're going to need to authorize either your Twitch or your YouTube account to connect with Nightbot. So for me I'm going to be using Twitch uh, but the process is exactly the same for YouTube. You're basically going to log into your Twitch or YouTube account and authorize the Nightbot application to use some of your Twitch credentials. Once you've authorized your Twitch or YouTube accounts, you should be taken to the dashboard. Now the dashboard is sort of a central location where you can see some statistics about how Nightbot has been interacting with your chat, such as you know how many commands or timeouts or messages it's sent, as well as things like uh, who your top chatter is or what the top command is, what people are requesting from Nightbot the most. Now before we start playing around with all the different settings and commands, the first thing that we need to do is to have Nightbot actually join our Twitch channel. So if you click join channel up in the top right, you're going to get a little pop-up window saying that Nightbot has joined your channel, but you need to make sure that you give Nightbot the moderator status in your Twitch chat. If you are doing this with YouTube, currently you need to make sure that you're live when you're joining uh, Nightbot into your channel. This is just to do with the uh, API limits on YouTube currently, so hopefully that won't be a case for too much longer. But once you have had Nightbot join your channel, if you head over to your Twitch, and YouTube channels to make sure that you add Nightbot to a moderator. So for Twitch, if we go to our Twitch channel, and as the instruction says, we type in slash mod space Nightbot to give Nightbot the moderator status. You should see a text message just saying that you have added Nightbot as a moderator of this room. Believe it or not, that is actually all of the setup that you need to do to have Nightbot as part of your channel. Everything else now is tinkering with the options to get Nightbot to uh, work in the specific way that you want it to. Now down the left hand side you should have a list of all the different things you can set up for Nightbot. Um, we'll start with commands. So if you click commands and then click default we can see a list of the default commands that Nightbot has set up for us. Now as you can see there's quite a few default ones set up. There's things like uh, showing the current game that you're streaming, uh, running commercials, updating the title, things like that. Uh, Nightbot has already set these up and as you can see over on the right hand side for each one you can click to read some more information in the docs and that's a really good place if you want to understand a little bit more about what that command is doing. So I'd highly recommend any of them that you're not sure about what they're going to do, click the docs link and uh, Nightbot actually has a really really good uh, documentation section where you can learn a lot more about how the commands work. You also have the option to disable or enable the command if you wish to and if you click options it's going to open up a new window where you can customize which level of user can uh, actually access that command so if they type in what level of user is actually going to get some response back from Nightbot as well as some other options depending on the command. 
So why don't we look into one, let's have a look at the game command and click options. Now the game command, if somebody types an exclamation mark game into your chat, that will uh, get Nightbot to respond with the current game that is being played on the stream. The default user level for the exclamation mark game command is set to everyone, which means anybody in your chat can type the command. However, the game option also allows moderators or higher user levels to update the game. So if they do exclamation mark game um, CSGO, then it will Nightbot will update the game to reflect that, but only moderators or higher user levels can modify the game. If somebody else tries to do it, they'll get a message saying that they can't edit it. The cooldown box below is just a way of being able to set what you want the cooldown to be. So this is the minimum amount of time before the command be, can be used again. So you obviously don't want to set this super low because you don't want people spamming your chat just to get a response out of Nightbot. And people don't really need to know what the game is more than every 10 seconds or so. So you can slide this across to be whatever cooldown you'd like. And when you're happy with your changes, you can just click submit. Now I'm not going to go through every single one of the commands because there's plenty of documentation explaining exactly what each command allows you to do. Um, but I would advise spending some time here and just making sure that you're only enabling the commands that you want to and that you really understand how the Nightbot system works. So spend some time going through these default commands. Um, when you're ready, uh, we can resume the video and we're going to add a custom command by clicking the custom button just underneath commands here. Now in the custom commands, we should see a, a table which will currently be empty because we haven't added any custom commands. Um, but we are going to click the add command button in the top right and a new window should pop up. Now as we can see, Nightbot has actually provided us with an example which we'll go along with. So let's say we wanted to create a command that would allow uh, users to be able to find out from Nightbot a link to our YouTube channel. So as, they, as we can see in the example here, uh, exclamation mark YouTube is the command that we could choose, but this could be absolutely anything you wanted. It could be exclamation mark YouTube channel. Um, you don't even have to have an exclamation mark before it, but it's worth having that just because you don't want Nightbot spamming when people are just having a conversation and mentioning the word YouTube. You'd prefer them to actually be requesting something from Nightbot, and the typical way of doing that is with an exclamation mark beforehand. So for command, let's do exclamation mark YouTube. Now the message box is what you want Nightbot to respond to this command. So the example that they have there is a, uh, a short description saying, you know, subscribe to my YouTube and then a link to your YouTube channel. That's really the basic implementation. Um, you can do some things with com command variables. You'll see there a link underneath the message where you can click command variables, which allows you to, you know, um, add some dynamic responses so that you can actually respond to the user and call their username if you'd like to, or, you know, a lot of other things. But I think for this example, we'll just keep it nice and simple, follow the example and, you know, have subscribed to my YouTube and then paste your link into your YouTube channel. Next, we've got those two commands that we've looked at before, the user level and the cooldown. So user level is uh, which kind of access level you want to set for people to be able to execute the command. So for something like this, you want everyone uh, within your chat to be able to uh, write the command and get a response from Nightbot. But if you do want to uh, restrict it to a higher user level, you just click the down arrow and then you can set from everyone, subscriber, regular, moderator or owner. Um, but for something like this, we're going to leave it at everyone. Cooldown, as before, is the minimum amount of time before the command can be used again. So something in the range of, you know, 10 seconds should be fine for this. And finally, we get an option for an alias. Uh, we don't need to worry about this for this command, but if you want, um, you know, Nightbot to respond to a number of different commands and, you know, if they said YouTube or YouTube channel or link to YouTube or something like that, you could create commands for all of them and then link the alias back to this one. Once we're happy, we can click submit. And then you should see the table update with your new custom command uh, and we get some options on the right hand side to edit or delete if we want to. Next we'll look at the giveaways tab which maybe is a little bit different to the rest of the Nightbot um, system uh, but this is basically a way for you to be able to give, um, well do a giveaway on your stream so that one of your viewers or chatters uh, can win something. So when you load up the giveaways page and you'll need to come to this page when you want to do a giveaway um, you should be presented with an eligibility list, a giveaway panel, and a chat window, as we can see here. We'll go through all of those now. So the eligibility list, that is the pool of users which have the chance to win the current giveaway. 
You can toggle users' ability to be eligible by just clicking the mark next to their name. The next panel is the giveaway panel, which um, allows you to choose what type of giveaway you are wanting to do. Firstly, you can see uh, who you want to make the giveaway eligible for. So uh, the blue surrounded boxes are who it's eligible for. So maybe you want to disclude your mods from a giveaway or you want to do a giveaway just for your subscribers and regulars or something like that. Or maybe you want a giveaway and anybody can win and you want to select them all. You just basically set that up here. Next, we have the giveaway type. So there's a few different ways of choosing a winner um, that Nightbot allows you to do. So the first one is active user, and that will select a user that has chatted in a defined length of time. So if they're an active user, that is basically defined by Nightbot as if they have chatted in the last X minutes. As you can see under active user, you can give extra luck, which basically means a, a slightly higher chance uh, for your subscribers or regulars to win if you want to, or you can set it so that everybody has an equal chance. And uh, the third option there, the active timeout, that allows you to choose what amount of time they have to have chatted within to be considered an active user. The next giveaway type is keyword. And again, we have the options for subscriber look and regular look if you want to provide a better chance for a subscriber or a regular to win. Next, you need to choose the keyword that people need to send in chat to be entered into the giveaway. Finally, we get the anti-spam option, which means that you can mark users as not able to take part in the competition if they constantly spam the keyword multiple times. So, you know, if you don't want your chat completely filled by people spamming the word over and over again, even though they've already been emptied, entered, then you can set it so that they are removed if they keep spamming it. The final giveaway type that we're going to do is random number. This will basically generate a random number between two pick numbers. So the defaults are zero and 100. And the first user to type that number into your chat is generated the winner. So if you're going to do this one, then I really encourage you not to have uh, this screen in your OBS um, because you don't want users to see what the, the, the winning number was. Um, but you generate a random number between zero and 100 and uh, Nightbot will choose whoever chats that number first. So you're going to get lots of spam message from your users trying to guess the number between uh, zero and 100. Whichever giveaway type you select, if you click roll it, then um, Nightbot will start the giveaway and pick a winner. So once a user has won the giveaway, uh, their profile image will be displayed and then there'll be options to visit their Twitch channel page uh, or send a direct message to them so that you can easily get in contact with your winner. The next option, uh, I guess, is logs, but that's just some history of what Nightbot has done. So we won't really look into that in too much detail. And regulars is a way for you to add um, certain users uh, to your regulars list if you want to, you know, uh, honor some people that maybe aren't subscribers to your channel but are regulars in chat and you want them to be recognized by Nightbot. The next option we'll see is song requests. And I know this is a really requested feature, but it's it's something that I really want to go into a proper amount of detail into, especially setting it up for things like Spotify. And I'm wary that this video is already running on quite a bit. So I'm going to create a separate video uh, for dealing with uh, song requests and the auto DJ system in Nightbot. Let me know if you are like really keen for that video and I'll try and bump up the priority list and get that out sooner rather than later for you guys. So the next section that we'll move on to is spam protection and this is a way for Nightbot to be able to moderate your chat and uh, time out certain users for you know breaking certain rules. So you'll see this is similar to the commands list there's some defaults already set up and you can you know, enable or disable any of these and click options if you want to customize. So for let's say blacklisted words or phrases if we click options this new window pops up and we can then enter a list of words or phrases that you wish Nightbot to block. The next option is the timeout length. This is the uh, maximum amount of time that Nightbot will time out the user that has used the blacklisted word or phrase for. Um, the way that Nightbot works is that the first time somebody breaks an offense, so the first time somebody uses a blacklisted word, let's say, they will get a five second timeout and a message saying that they've used a banned word. If they repeat the offense again, Nightbot remembers who the users are and they will then be banned for the length that you enter into this box. Next option is the exempt user level. So you can set what level of user will be uh, not included for this uh, filter. So if you want your moderators to be able to use uh, some of these words, then you can set that level here. 
The silent option below is basically for much busier channels where you don't want Nightbot to be constantly sending out its timeout message uh, in the chat. You can here enable silent mode and Nightbot won't send a message saying that um, a user has been timed out for X, Y and Z. Um, so it won't be flooding your chat. It will still um, filter out the user and give them a timeout if they're breaking the rules, but it will no longer give the message to punished users. The final box allows you to set a custom message if you would like to, and this is again the message that Nightbot will send to your user in chat. Um, if you leave it blank, then it will just be a default message that Nightbot has already got set up. Once you're happy with your filter, then you can click submit. And I really recommend, again, similar to the commands, spending some time here looking at the spam protection filters and just setting them up exactly as you want in chat. Um, making sure that you're blacklisting certain words that you don't want to be seen in your chat and um, you know enabling or disabling excessive caps or emotes and links and things like that uh, and just making sure that you're getting the user levels right to allow your moderators if you want to allow them to be able to you know post links and things like that then you need to make sure that you have that set up in the options. The final thing that we'll look at today is the timers option and this is a way of being able to create uh, a message that Nightbot sends on a certain timer. So maybe uh, the example that we'll do today is having Nightbot send your social media links every, let's say, 10 minutes to your chat. So on the timers page, if we click the add button, we should get a new window. And similar to the custom commands that we had earlier, um, Nightbot has sort of half filled in a form for us to give an example. So uh, the example we're going to be doing is the same one that they've got filled in here. So let's do our social links that will be uh, sent every 10 minutes. The first box is just the name and this doesn't interact at all with your chat. This is just purely for you when you come back to the timers page for you to know uh, which timer is which. So they give the option of social links. That sounds good to me. So let's type in social links. The next box is the actual message that you wish Nightbot to send on the timer. So let's fill this out properly with some links to you know, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever social media you want to let your users know that they can follow you at. Um, we can add the message in here as well as the links. The interval is how often you want Nightbot to send this message. Uh, and it's worth noting that this is uh, the actual interv interval on the hour. So if you set every 15 minutes, that'll be 2 o'clock, 2.15, 2.30, 2.45. Um, we're going to set every 10 minutes, so that will be 2 o'clock, 2.10, 2 2.20 and so on and so forth. The chat lines option is a useful one. This is basically the number of lines of chat or the minimum number of chat lines that Nightbot needs to have in between each interval for it to send the message. So, you know, if you're just starting out and you haven't got many users chatting and you're just trying to get your name out there for streaming, you don't want Nightbot to be the only thing talking in chat every 10 minutes just sending the same message and there to be no chat in between. So this option allows Nightbot to actually check how many lines of chat there have been between its last interval and its next one. And if there haven't been this number of chat lines, then it won't send the next interval message. So the default is two. I like to put this up to you know around five because even with two lines of chat between each uh, social links message, uh, it can look a little bit spammy. So I'm going to change this to five and we'll move on to alias. Alias, just like the alias that we had in commands, is just a way for the timer to call a custom command uh, when it is run. So if you want it to uh, you know, run something else every time it's called, then you can set that here. But we're just going to leave that completely blank. Other timer examples are things like reminding your users to subscribe if you have the option to subscribe or follow your stream. Um, I'd just be a bit wary of being a bit spammy in your chat. Um, you don't want Nightbot to be, you know, your most active chatter. Uh, you want it be, to be there to facilitate your users and help them when they have a custom command. So that's pretty much it for the Nightbot commands. I know I'll do a completely separate episode going into a lot of detail on song requests um, because that kind of needs its own episode uh, to go into the detail of Spotify and YouTube. Uh, now that you've kind of got it set up, I would recommend just before you go live, just having a play around in your actual Twitch or YouTube chat with some of the commands. Make sure that Nightbot is responding as you expect it to. You know, if you're going to do a giveaway, make sure you've kind of tested that with a few of your users in chat beforehand so it doesn't mess up on the first time that you run it. But you can always come back to this dashboard and uh, play around with the commands 
after you've got some experience using them and seeing how your users interact with them. That's it for this video guys. If you have found it useful and you've got to this point in the video, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody that you know is uh, starting to live stream. Um, if you're new here to the Gaming Careers YouTube channel, we're a YouTube channel completely focused around helping you guys build a career out of gaming on Twitch, on YouTube, you know, building up your live stream, building up your YouTube channel, uh, audio, all these kind of things. We're building guides around all of those topics to help you make a profession out of your passion. So if you are new here, have a look around and consider subscribing. And subscribers, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.